Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another tablescape. So it's getting a little late in the day. The sun's probably gonna go down in about an hour. So we are gonna go ahead and bust this out quick. But luckily, we are not redoing an entire tablescape. So this was my Easter tablescape, but Easter is over. And I don't want to have to completely redo the table I like it a lot. I like the bones of it and it's still very springy. So I'm going to go ahead and just take away um, what I consider to be most of the Easter. So I'm going to take the Easter eggs away. I'm going to take the big Easter bunnies away, um, all the eggs on the trees. And then we will be left with the main bones of the table. So our glasses, our dishes, um, our tablecloth, our placemats and the tree. So we will redo the tree for spring. I have some fun um, resin light bulbs instead of the eggs that we will replace them with. And then we might might just do the tree. We might put a little something with it um, on the table, depending on the, the tree and the light fixture now that it's been lowered, don't play super well together. Um, so instead of it being centered, it does well with a little just position then the only thing left to decide is the plates. So these are what I consider my Easter plates. They have bunnies and chicks on them and these really pretty pink flowers. Now to me, these are just like springy. So I will probably just leave these on the spring table because I want to enjoy them for longer. Um, and unlike some people who just set their table for an occasion, I like to set my table and use it a couple times throughout a season, leave it set. I'll wash my dishes before I use them for the day if it's been a while in between using them. But like, I'll use this tonight, I'll wash everything and I'll reset it. Cause I just, I enjoy having my table set. So if the bunnies are too much Easter for you, I will show you, you could easily, um, replace just the salad plates with the solid pink salad plates that go with these pink dinner plates. And that would be great. I also have a set of just solid purple salad plates. That would be great. Or white salad plates. That would be great. So switch out those bunny plates for something a little more solid, a little more spring and take the eggs away. We should be able to do this pretty quickly. Now the hardest thing is going to be if you watch the Easter tablescape video, you know that this moss that I love under these resin eggs made a huge mess. I was not expecting that. So first things first, we're going to take that down and then we might have to quickly almost clear the table and get the mess off because it was bad enough having it here for Easter. I don't really want it here for all spring, especially because right now the moss is here. It makes sense. But once the moss goes away, people are just going to be like, what is all this crap on your table? So give me a minute. We are going to go ahead and put you on tile lapse to take the eggs away because you don't need to stick around for all of that. And then I will come back and we will set the table for spring. Should be pretty fun and easy. And this is just to show you that you don't always have to reset an entire design to have a new tablescape. You can just change out a few elements, a few decorative pieces, salad plates, um, and have a completely new table for a completely new season. So, you know, we could easily even, you know, take these away and put some hearts on the tree and put some cute little Valentine's day plates down And this table would work for Valentine's day. For me, since my Christmas plates are pink and blush, this could work as a Christmas table. So really, you know, if you even have just one set, girls be quiet of dishes and you just want to change out those salad plates and your main piece of decor, that's a great way to change your table seasonally without having to keep a million different sets of dishes on hand. But some of us are not so we like the dishes. Okay. Still with this moss. Okay. 
All right, so it is all cleaned off. Had to take everything outside and shake it, but we're back to ground zero. So we've taken all the eggs, taken all the bunnies off of the table, and I've grabbed my light bulbs. So I have two different versions. These, which are just um, light bulb bases with some little uh, flowers in them, and these, which are completely resin, filled with flowers and iridescent confetti. And I just like to hang them on the tree. They give a nice touch of floral spring without being over the top. And I have uh, three of each of them. So I made these resin light bulbs last year. I will link to the tutorial. I think I have a video on it as well. But they turn out so cute. And I used them on a completely different tablescape last year. So if you want to check that out, you know. I, I just like, I like to use the same things sometimes, but in different ways. I'm not necessarily all about having to have the new best thing every five minutes. Although, your girl likes to shop. So I'm just kind of moving them around until they're kind of evenly spaced. The problem is this one kind of needs to go here. Not a really good place to do that. I'm going to go with that. All right. So let's go ahead and move these last two things out of the way. The little wooden table is actually for our antique booth, but I keep finding different places in my house that I use and want to use it just for here and there. And it works great for tail tips because I can just pull it up and use it as an extra pair of hands. Let's see about maybe some flowers or something for down here. I did grab this little dish. Don't know that I love it yet. So I had this uh, candle on the table for Easter just as a kind of riser for one of those eggs. I think it might be too big. So let's try these flowers instead. Let me see it from your point of view. It's not bad. Maybe that's all we need. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That gives us a little something at the bottom. And it goes with our color scheme. And honestly, like I said, if, if this was higher, um, we might not even need that. We could put the tree right in the middle of the table. Since it needs to be just opposed, I just need a little something at the base to justify that. All right. Last but not least, I'm going to take two of the bunnies off the table and replace them with the matching pink salad plates so that you can see what it looks like both ways um, if you would prefer it with the bunnies for spring or with the pink for spring. But that is it. That is my quick switch from Easter to spring and this is what I'm going to leave on my table probably for the next maybe month. And then we'll see. We'll see what we change it for next. Maybe we'll go a little longer, go to 4th of July. I will give you guys a close up at the centerpiece, at the place settings. But if you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, show your mom. I will be back in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>pink place settings and like I said you could easily do um, that light purple or a white on top even a seafoam green if you had it would be really pretty for spring um, and just tie everything together without having to change that base that I was working with for Easter 
let me come up the iridescent glasses while they were perfect with the eggs also work really well with the glass of the light bulbs so you can see that we have these light bulbs with the little florals as well as the resin light bulbs and the resin light bulbs always look amazing with the light coming through the window see that they just kind of glow so of course the bunnies i think still look perfect for spring they're not overtly in your face happy easter there's no you know bunny with eggs it doesn't say happy easter to me this just says spring but if this says easter to you solid plates work perfectly and I know we didn't do a lot today, but I just wanted to show you that you don't have to start over every single time. This is a quick switch and it still looks really pretty for spring, especially with the garden right outside the window. So hope you liked this video. If you did, comment down below and let me know if you wanna see more of this type of content. Until then, Bye, y'all.